Welcome to another video in which we will talk about how to download and then how to install uh, process macro uh, which is developed by Andrew and Hayes uh, that we use for our mediation and moderation analysis and for other analyses like moderated mediation and sequential mediation and other things. So in order to download uh, the process macro you need to go to this Google page and type process macro download by Hayes. I think th that would be enough. So if you just type this, it will take you to these pages. And usually it is the first search. Make sure that it's not an ad or anything else. So it is the process macro. Uh, you will go to this website. So if you look at this drop down menu, just click this and see there's this download here. There are other things like workshop, papers, FAQs and uh, version history. Version history can also be very important. But for now, just go to download and it will take you to this website. Now, as I said that they keep on changing their uh, interface uh, of their website, uh, you have to go till the end of this page. And here you're going to see download from the resource hub at CC. R A M. So it'll, this tab will take you to uh, another page and let's click this and we'll go to this page. And on this page, if you see there are a few things, you need to go to this resource hub. So if you'll click this resource hub, it's going to take you to another page. And if you keep scrolling, it will say view and download technical reports. This is something else. Take an online courses. Here you can see that download process version 4.3. Now uh, I've talked about uh, different versions of this process macro in another video. You can uh, uh, just click at the uh, right top of your uh, video and that'll take you to the version video. So you have a clear understanding of what version you're using and how to use those versions. So if you just click this, it's going to ask you where do you want to download. So I'm just giving it a desktop and now it has been downloaded at my desktop. So now few more things to understand. Let's go to our desktop and see that you have this uh, downloaded process macro file. Now this is in a zip form or you can say RAR form. So make sure you have the uh, RAR software installed so you can unzip it. So what I'll do is I'll make another folder so I don't lose any of my files. Just put it here, put it in another folder, go to this folder and unzip it. So here, if you see these things, that means you have the Win RAR software installed. So I'm asking it to extract files. Okay. And now it has given me this unzipped file, unzipped folder. So I'll click this folder and we'll see that it has uh, uh, three folders. It is saying process macro version 4.3 for R. This is for R software. There's another folder for SAS software. And this is the one if you want to use it for SPSS because our current video is about how to use it in SPSS. So we are uh, concerned about this folder. So if you see in this folder, we have this uh, process file which will eventually be used for uh, installing it. Now, this is how we download it and unzip it. But how to install it in our SPSS? Well, there are different methods. One of the methods is that you just click this uh, process and uh, it'll open your uh, SPSS file. It'll take some time and it will give you some kind of command or something that it has uh, installed it or it hasn't installed it. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. So don't worry about it. But uh, the other way, which is uh, the authentic way of uh, installing it is make sure, first of all, that your SPSS is closed completely. No file of SPSS is open. Then go to your desktop and type SPSS. Now, this is very important to understand that before double clicking it uh, for opening your SPSS, go to this uh, icon, right click 
and run as administrator now this is very important if you will not do this uh, step it will not install your uh, uh, process macro so make sure what we've done so you have typed spss go to its icon right click and run as administrator sometimes if you have uh, the icon somewhere on your desktop uh, a shortcut you can also uh, right click that shortcut and that will also give you this option of run as administrator another thing if you're using your uh, uh, company laptop or company computer your administrators might have uh, uh, some restrictions on uh, downloading or installing a few things so that might give you an issue but if you're using your personal laptop it won't give you this issue so run as administrator this is important it will ask you uh, obviously we'll say yes to it as if we are going to install some kind of software it'll open and now here uh, first thing that you need to do is uh, just to check that if we already have installed it or we haven't installed it so i'll go to analyze i'll go to regression and i will see uh, as i have already installed uh, many of their versions so I have 3.5, I have 4, 4.1, 4.2 version. They are already installed. Uh, it is very likely that in your laptops, in your SPSS softwares, you won't see anything like this or anything like this. This is process. This was their oldest version. Uh, and these are their uh, latest versions. But the one I have downloaded now is uh, 4.3. So I don't have 4.3 here. So make sure you don't have that here. And then uh, just come out of this window and go to utilities. It's your uh, fourth last tab here, utilities. And the second last option is custom dialog. And then there's this install custom dialog. So what did we do? Utilities, custom dialog, install custom dialog. Once you'll click this, It'll take you to another window. Now here you have to uh, guide this window to the folder that we have unzipped and we have downloaded. So I'll take it to, as I have downloaded it on the desktop, I'll take it to my desktop. And then uh, there's a new folder because I had uh, uh, replaced it in new folder. This is saying process macro 4.3. So click this one. Remember that we're using it with SPSS. So we have to click this folder and custom dialog builder. And then we have this process here. So make sure you reach this process.sbd file. So once I'll click this or double click it, it is asking me that there's already a dialog by this name, which is installed. But it is going to tell you that dialog uh, is installed. So you'll click OK and it is saying dialog installed too and that means it has been installed. So I'll just click OK. Now just to make sure that you have properly uh, installed the uh, process macro, go to this analyze regression and see if you can see uh, the process macro uh, in the list. That means you have installed it and now you can use it for your mediation and moderation analysis. Uh, make sure that you have your data file with you, which means this is our normal file. It doesn't have any data. So it won't work on uh, a file which doesn't have any data. Remember when you're using it, make sure that you're using the right version, which means uh, different versions have different model numbers. Uh, to understand this thing, you can watch another video which you can uh, find on the right top corner, the link of that video. So you properly understand which model is used for uh, what kind of analysis. Uh, so this is all about this video. Thank you very much. I'll see you in some other video. Thank you.